Hello boys and girls, peas and carrots, and welcome to a new series of mine. Yes, that's right, this is going to be a new series where we are going to learn uh, modding for Minecraft 1.6.4 or 2, one of them. And then we're going to go on to modding for 1.7. Then we're going to make a 2D game yeah, with some Java libraries. And then we will make one from scratch but that will be very far in the future so yeah let's just start with this modding 1.6.24 one of them uh, <coughs> well so if you look in the description there will be three links at the top of the at the top of the um, page there will be uh, the page at the top of the description, there will be one to Eclipse, one to Java SE, and one to Minecraft Forge. Once you are open or free, they will look like this. What you want to do is you want to download Java here for this one. Uh, I've already got it installed, so I don't need to install it. So I'm going to close that. You are also going to go to eclipse.org, which looks something like this. What you want to do is go to downloads here and. Hello, dog. Sorry, my dog's just coming in the room. So, what you want to do is download Eclipse Standard 4.3.2 here with your selected Windows type here. You can also use this for Linux and Mac Mac OS X. But today we will be doing Windows. So I'm going to install the 64-bit version. And this is the page you should get. Then click this one. And you should see in your download bar down here, it should say uh, Eclipse is being installed as a zip. Now you can donate, but I'm not going to today because that's not what this tutorial is about. You can then close this website. Then after that, what you want to do is you want to download the recommended uh, 1.6.4 here. But you don't want to do the installer, you want to use the source, SRC for short. You will then go to an AdFly page and you've got to wait 5 seconds until you can download the Forge and skip Ad. So now you've got these two downloading, Forge will install quite quickly. I am just going to drag this onto my desktop for ease like so then what you want to do is with a file ex ex archiver like WinRAR you want to extract it here if you don't have WinRAR you can also use the native Windows system thing here and extract it from here but I've got WinRAR so I'm going to extract to Forge 1.6.49 whatever 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 this may take some time but uh, boy is it good once you've, you've, you've done it I will just skip this bit out so you see when it's done won't take that long but you know it's a YouTube video I don't want to upload it too heavily. I don't want. To, don't want it too long. If you give me. Right. So once you that's done, you have a WinRAR file and you will have a, a folder called the same thing. Now you can delete the WinRAR like that, and now you've just got this. What you want to do 
is because you you may want to make multiple mods, you want to call this your mod folder or something to do. You can name this anything. You could literally name this poo. That is literally what you can do. But I wouldn't recommend that because that's harder to remember. So I'm going to go to and put modding folder. Uh, YouTube. Like that. And press enter. So this is what this folder is called now. Now if we open this up. <coughs> There, it should be a folder inside called Forge. What you want to do is you want to rename this folder to what your mod's going to be. So for me, I'm going to do a uh, tutorial mod or top mod. I am not going to release this. So yeah. And before we go on any further, I'd just like to say that. Um, we will not be getting any code done in this episode to keep this episode shorter. Uh, next episode though, we will get straight into it and we will be, uh, will be so good. And, uh, yeah. So subscribe if you haven't so we can yeah, do some coding next, next episode. But what you want to do next, so don't leave yet, uh, is go into the top mod or whatever you named your mod and hit the install uh, dot cmb thing command it should be a back sort of file and you should get this this will take a little while to install but um, to mod you have to do it so you may also get some errors saying scarlack is not found uh, uh, and it will say something like skipping Scarlack, but you don't need to worry about this. I am now going to skip this because it may take some time. So yeah, right. So this still hasn't installed, but I want to uh, do like set up um, Eclipse with you. So if you go to your downloads folder, you should see there would be an eclipse here now drag that onto your desktop like so uh, you don't need this anymore it, oh maybe go back to your, your mod folder and just minimize it now you'll want to also extract this to blah blah eclipse I can't even read those numbers that quickly. Uh, this may also take some time. So now you should have uh, the command prompt going and also your extract you should be extracting this. So yeah, I'll just skip past these two. The eclipse should be shorter than um than the uh, command prompt one. Right, so we are back, guys, and that took a hell of a long time. I think it almost took an hour. Now, on my desktop PC, usually when I'm making mods, it does not take that long. So, um, yeah, I'd consider you doing it on a desktop PC. But if you don't have access to one of them, and you've got access to just a laptop, then laptop will do fine. It, it, um, it's just a bit slower. But, uh, yeah. So, if you do that, and, um, then we should, down here we've got the eclipse, so we can get rid of this eclipse. Just rename this Eclipse for modding. Uh, open this up. <coughs> Go to Eclipse. 
and go and run this one here this application uh, run anyway This program looks very similar to the one that I used for the Nut and Dar 3. I think it's different. Can't remember what I used for Nut and Dar But anyway, you should go watch that video. I'll probably realise afterwards that it probably was this program. Oh well. Um, yeah. <coughs> it just loads up like this with a splash. You can't. This is the only option that you'll get whenever you right click it on there. So there's no other secret hidden things to do with the program than that. Um, you want to go and browse. You want to go to. Uh, here. We're already on the desktop here. So you want to go to modding folder or whatever you named the O. Oh, you want to go to modding folder or whatever you name that thing top top mod or whatever you called your mod mcp and eclipse don't click anything past eclipse just make sure eclipse is highlighted and it says eclipse down here and press ok then press ok here you can also set it as your default workspace but I'm probably I I'm not going to because I do other things with this program probably so I probably will make other mods so it's probably best that I don't. Now what you're going to see next is Minecraft, but it's not going to look like what you think it looks like. It's going to look like a a bunch of um, words which is all Minecraft is a bunch of words like I said earlier we will not be getting any uh, coding done today since this has taken such a long time to film but I know it's going to be such a short video for you guys so I do feel sorry for you but uh, subscribe and next time we will be doing uh, the proxies which will mean that we can uh, can set it up on um, on servers as well as just client side right so I just want to introduce you to the program just a little bit as you can see you've got this thing called the package explorer and inside it is a file called minecraft this is what Minecraft is made up of. If you go to the SRC, you should see all the packages which are like file directories uh, that make up Minecraft and Minecraft Forge. So, if you wanted to see how some they they made something or or something like that, you can click on one and here is like the fluids that is Minecraft Forge though. so uh, if we go up a bit there should be item we will be tell I will tell you how to make items but um, because most of them make them differently to me but it still all works so if we just open up an item here um, you should see that opens in this this text editor thing here and um, yeah, like this and this is the item folder that has all the items in so now do you see why it takes so long for them to update everything yeah I think you should so, if we exit out of this, this is where you view and type your code. 
this this area here where the folder just file just came up. This is the outline. I don't use the outline, but some people do. And uh, yeah, you can just like get rid of it like this, which gets makes this bigger. You will also notice this down here. If you press this one, it'll go up here. So when you run it, which is this button here, or you could debug it, but run. <coughs> I'll teach you what debug is one day. Let's say launching client in the bottom right there, and all of a sudden, you should see Minecraft up here. This is where this is called the console. That's why I like keeping it up here because then you've got the biggest amount of space here. Uh, you've got save buttons, print buttons. Uh, you can make new stuff. So make yourself at home on this program, and um, and we will be making some blocks I think next time either blocks or items tell me what you want blocks or items in the comment section below and until next time I think that's all I have have to say so until next time uh, I, I, I see bye literally that's all I have to say now bye um, subscribe, like the video, and share it with your friends, so you can all make mods together, and we can make a community around my channel about making mods, and yeah. So this is how to make a forge mod for what Minecraft 1.6.4 episode one. I, I, uh. Yeah. This is what you should get when you open up Minecraft. So, I'll see you later.